Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi Kordnavasi. This is the second movie of chapter 5, Are We All Agreed? Service Design Part 1 and the Relationship Management Process in the ITIL. In this movie, I am going to talk about Customer Certification. Of course, customer satisfaction means keeping the customer satisfied. However, often the IT department thinks it's doing a good job and the opposite is true. For example, you look at the service level reports prior to the monthly service review meeting with the customer. You read the result and think, wow, we have achieved all the service targets. I bet the customer will be really happy. But when you enter the meeting room, the customer tells you what an appalling month it has had. The provider and customer can have a different perception of the same achievements for many reasons. The SLA doesn't meet the customer's need. The customer hasn't communicated the agreed service levels to the users and the users have complained. The SLA targets can't be measured accurately. The SLA targets don't reflect the relative criticality of the services or the critical business periods. The customer or provider has misinterpreted the requirements. The SLA isn't under by appropriate OLAs or contracts. Reminder, OLAs, Operational Level Agreement, is an agreement between an IT service provider and another part of the same organization. The moral of the story is that you must measure customer satisfaction or satisfaction as well as achievement of the service targets. Often the service desk sends out surveys to the users. Service level management should collect and review this feedback to form a better overall view of the quality of the services. Customer satisfaction is a simple concern of the business relationship management process. Service level management and business relationship management must work closely together. Looking at the activities of service level management. 1. The service level manager gains an understanding of the business activities performed by the customer. Then, the manager can communicate the importance of the service to others in the service provider organization. The requirements are documented. The second, the service level manager returns to the IT provider to establish whether the requirements are achievable. This triggers other service management process, especially availability management, capacity management, IT service continuity management, and information security management. These processes ensure that the specific aspects of the service requirements are fully assessed and the impacts of meetings the requirements are understood. And the third, the service level manager negotiates with the customer regarding the level of service that is achievable and affordable. This can take several goals. 
inevitably the customer modifies its requirements during the negotiation and you have to return to the technical staff to double check five steps to improve customer satisfaction be genuine when customers call with complaints or concerns take the time to treat them like individuals while calling a customer ma'am or sir is respectful it doesn't include a personal touch replying yes sir i understand is polite add the customer's name yes mr smith i understand that is much better using a customer's name helps them see you are truly engaged in listening to what they are saying and interested in solving the issue personalizing the conversation helps the realization that the customer is more important to your company than the money be accountable customers face the most aggravation when customer care acts concerned but passes the issue around never point a customer to someone else because you don't know how to handle his problem instead take the time to help fix the problem if possible if you must refer a customer find an individual who can resolve their issue amicably ensuring your customer achieves a desirable outcome will ensure you create a customer for life empathize listen to your customers sometimes people really do need to vent always remember a complaint shouldn't be taken personally learn to acknowledge the customer's issue and train employees to do the same it is important that your customer knows that someone understands their concerns let them know you understand the way they are feeling and apologize even if you don't feel you need to a sincere apology works wonders in creating happy loyal customers and confirms your willingness to take responsibility for the customer's problem innovate if you understand the customer's problem offer a solution Never tell the customer what you can't do. Focus on what you can do to fix the problem. Offer some options. Working to solve your customer's problem, even if not to the extent they may have liked, helps them feel you care about their business. Focusing on solutions will keep customers coming back even after they faced a problem with your company. Be trustworthy. Sometimes in an effort to appease a customer, Company employees will make promises that are not only impractical but which can't be honored. Don't make empty promises. It is far better to offer a practical and workable solution that will allow you to rebuild your customer relationship and provide some satisfaction. Meet every situation realistically and your customer will appreciate the effort. While these tips will help you provide quality care to your customers, There will be times when nothing anyone else does will be enough to keep a customer. Be genuine. You are accountable. Remember to empathize. Innovate for solutions. Be trustworthy. Fact. It costs five times more to acquire new customers than it does to keep current ones. That's a lot of coin. So focus on your current customers and their satisfaction. because engaged customers spend a whopping 16% more. So, how do you satisfy customers? Having a great product isn't enough. You need to create an outstanding customer experience. That means exceptional customer service and engagement across multiple channels, both offline and online. Trust us on this one. In fact, 57% of customers rate customer service as the most important factor in driving loyalty. And don't forget to make sure you deliver highly personalized and seamless experiences for different customers. Nearly half of all customers don't find communications from loyalty programs they participate in relevant. But how do you deliver exceptional customer service and highly relevant communications? First, you need to understand leverage and harness the customer data you collect. Don't know where to start though? Single customer view. That's right. Aggregated, consistent and holistic representation of all you know about your customers. Find database mining overwhelming though? Don't stress. We can give you a hand with that. Next, 
Show your customers you know them by creating unique experiences and targeted offers. Go on, take those email campaigns to the next level. But the tricky bit is that customers expect loyalty offers to be consistent across channels. Yep, all channels. So don't treat your online store differently to your social media channel or call center as a siloed solution. You need a multi-channel marketing platform that will help you deliver the right offer through the right channel to the right customer at the right time. Finally, make sure you give your customers personalized, efficient service. With a single customer view, now you can service customer inquiries in your contact center through any channel at lightning speed. By aggregating customer data and feeding it intelligently into your contact center environment, you can rapidly identify each customer's need and provide them with the right information at the right time. By making service interactions with your organization easy, you'll give them a service experience they'll remember. Best of all, it's easy to switch on a multi-channel contact center solution when it's available in the cloud. And that's how you create loyal customers. Customers who are as excited and passionate about your brand as you are. So think solid customer data, effective multi-channel marketing, and superior support as the foundations for a most successful loyalty program. Not sure where to start? Call 1300 Salmat and speak with the biggest brands in Australia for the last Monitoring service performance against the SLA and producing service reports. The SLA is a service level agreement. Unfortunately, once you have agreed and signed your SLAs, you can throw them in the drawer, shut it, and forget about them. You must measure and report on your service. How often do you monitor your service levels? As often as you committed to do in your SLA. The service operation people are monitoring your services and components all the time. You must ensure that they Collect and collate the appropriate information that you need to go into your service reports. You have to produce and circulate reports regularly in line with what you agreed in the SLA. When reporting to customers, keep things simple. Don't flood customers with unnecessary information and data. Also, don't get too technical unless customers ask for the complete stuff. Exception reports are a good idea. As the name suggests, you report on exceptions only so SLA breaches or service outage. This prevents you from printing page after page of data and simply tells the customer things are okay. Another popular report goes under many names, RAG chart. Service reviews are great for identifying opportunities for improvement. The customer may be looking at the SLAM chart and say, Look like you had a lot of amber lights recently. Wouldn't you like to do something? 
about it. The amber lights indicate a number of outages in the last period of the IT department should investigate. The appropriate response is for the service level manager to set up a FIP or FIP. To do this, he probably calls on the help of his very good friend, the Continual Service Improvement Manager or CSI, and they work together to set up the plan to investigate the outages and recommend improvements. Collating, measuring, and improving customer satisfaction. You must get a qualitative feel for the service you are providing to the customer. Customer satisfaction surveys are a good way of doing this. The service desk often helps with surveys. It can send out email surveys after an incident or ask users their opinion of the service while on the phone and then pass this to the service level management to be included in reports and service reviews. Okay, thank you for watching this movie. In the next movie, I will talk about the keeping information about the live service or service catalog management. Thank you.